a while ago I did this um, video where I was showing you how you can sh <clears throat> record your uh, your forms in a master list. So we have a quote form here and I just filled in a couple of things um, and then you're browsing down to it and then you go record in a list and so then it goes um, oh, this so you can see it it, it br brings all the information in and that's quote number 19 and it's got the company and the date and you'd have our other information obviously but <clears throat> so now you um, you're working away and you've gone and got a coffee and other things have gone on um, and so you so by accident <clears throat> you hit this record button again and in my previous version it would have um, it would have put in 19 again but now it comes up and it says quote already exists and so you say okay and then it ends and it does not re re um, it does not record the information from this quote so in this method you're not going to have the quote number 19 twice on your file because if it's on that list it won't record now if I change this to 20 and this is using auto number that it normally works but I'm just changing it manually here and then I go down I'll just close my master quote list so I've changed this to 20 and now I go down and I uh, I press the record and list again <clears throat> it will record a new one but when you, it will not record number 19 more than once or number 20 more than once if it already exists so let's look at the code with my developer tab visual basic okay so what I have done here is um, so so this is what I've written previously and it's um, selecting information and take now we're opening a new book and then within this book what I've done is um, I've set um, with sheets sheet one range a, a to one so it's going to search the a column set range to find and find what in the quote is what we've decided or we've named our uh, quote number as in B4 and it's looking for quotes and, and we're having all the search steps through here look in look at search order search directions match case and if range is nothing then it what it does is it adds to your new sheet these these new uh, values that you have on your quote and if it doesn't then we have this width within the if statement and then it, else if the if it um, if it finds it already it shows a message box quote exists value found and then it's end if and it goes to end and then you you save my data which is saves the data on the master list so this is how you uh, ensure that the numbers that you're recording in a master list are not already there please subscribe